Hi everyone, it's the Cunny Crafter. And as predicted, the journal doesn't fit in its cover. <laughs> what I've had to do actually is, so I'll do a, a flip through at the end. Um, I've had to break it down into two signatures. The pages were just like rolling, they weren't folding, if that makes any sense. So yeah, we now have a two signature journal, so it's not going to fit in here. So how to remedy this? I've got no idea. I'm just, I'm going to have to go for it. So I think first things first is cut it down the middle to give a front and the back cover. seems like the most sensible thing to do I mean I may regret it but as it stands we can't use it as it is I could turn it into a ring bound journal but I don't really want that I've seen the Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah do that Tidy up these edges after. It's no biggie. Like here. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I wonder to put that through the paper. I trim that. I will. Let's see if the guillotine will do with the job. No, it won't. It's too tall. It's going to have to be this one, which I know doesn't like this cardstock that much. It tends to jump its tracks, but let's just see. Yep, it jumped its tracks. <laughs> you I should have ordered that with that paper trimmer when I saw it. Right, we're just going to have to go walk with scissors. You know, I hate going to walk with scissors. But when it's got to be done, it's got to be done. We can always fix that somehow. Okay. So, because we have our cover out of our Amazon packaging, I thought let's bring in some more Amazon packaging. Now, I think I mentioned, I can't remember which video, I mentioned in a video that this new packaging from Amazon isn't as sturdy as the old stuff. Um, I mean, props to them for being, me, being more eco-friendly, but as a crafter, this is not gonna hold it as a spine. But here, where I've doubled it over, well, where it is doubled over, that seems good. So, I think I'm going to cut off this edge here where it is torn, and I can just follow that line, hopefully. Well, we all know that makes a good side tuck. <laughs> if I'm going to keep it, I'm not 100% sure. And I think I'll cut this edge off here. This is just like the top flappy bit. I have absolutely no plan. I did like Google. Well, I searched on YouTube like... How to expand the spine and stuff and not it's like putting fabric in and stuff and I don't want, I think this fabric is too heavy this fabric this signature sorry two signatures now it's too heavy for one for, oh good lord this is because I'm I'm <laughs> Both signatures are so heavily embellished they're going to be too heavy for a fabric spine. 
is what I was trying to spit out. Okay. I'm going to cut it along here, but I'm going to cut it on this side of that crease. Just because I think we're going to need the height. Oh, I've meandered yeah. slightly. And tall enough, we could always do it that way, couldn't we? <laughs> I mean, there's a solution for you. Right, I am. I'm going to do it this way. I'm just worried there's not enough height there. I'm going to try and cut this with the knife. I'm very conscious that I keep shoving my head under the camera. And you're going to see all my grey hairs. So as of filming, it is the day before Halloween. Then I thought, oh, let's watch a scary film. But it wasn't scary. It was ridiculous. It was called The Prodigy. And basically it was about reincarnation of a serial killer. <laughs> that had possessed. Well, apparently you can't say possessed because it does not look straight. But that's something that I will eat. But he'd, he'd fix himself up with this good body. Right. So, I'm going to mark that as top. Yes? Is that right? Oh my goodness. Right. Top. <laughs> and then... I need to know how wide I need it. I don't know if this is going to be a big enough thing. Right. What is that? Six centimeters. I don't know what that is in inches. That is nearly two and a half inches. Right. Now, I don't want to put anything over the front. What I was thinking of was if I could fold this on the inside, so say we would take it up to here and just attach the inside and then have like an exposed spine. So then I need to add two centimetres either side of that. So that's going to take it up to eight. And then I want two. So on double thickness, this is going to be fun to sew the signatures through, isn't it? Right. I didn't retract that blade. So we we'll want this mark here. I think. I don't know. Am I even in frame doing this? So technically these should be the same width and height and all that goodness. do is score these down. I'm going to need a big scoreboard. 
Oh, sorry. That's how big this scoreboard is. <laughs> so I need to score this at two centimetres and six. Oops, it went off on them. Same with this one. Two. Oops. It's my in frame doing this. Just about. The, sorry, the board is just so big. Can you see the score at the six? You can. <laughs> I mean, you don't need a scoreboard. You could just measure it, mark it, and crease it down. And this is an obnoxiously large scoreboard. Okay. I'm gonna get a ball. Probably I'm gonna have to put some washi or something on this. Ooh. So I wanna stick. One is slightly longer than the other. Is it? Have a good. Right, I'm going to stick these together using the three and one. I suppose you could get away with a um, double sided sticky tape. Oh, I've got a blockage. Okay. So this is just to give it some thickness. And I just want to stick these together. Make sure they're going to be nice and secure. knew that would happen a little, bit, a little bit of extra there just because of the thickness of that so should i cut that down i think perhaps i shall go and walk with scissors Ugh. Side. Okay. Then I need to somehow that mark sees top stick actually small glue. <laughs> And I wouldn't use a print stick or PVA for this. Definitely a silicone and a base glue. I'm going to keep that folded up. Actually, fold it right over. And then stick it down. And I may just leave this spine. Um, Bare cardboard because the inside is bare. I mean, it's not the same cardboard, but I don't think that's going to matter. Right, stop my rain. What I'm saying is, we won't be fine to open the book up. Let's try so we'll just have to wait and see okay and then this I 
loads of glow mate loads of glow right so that that way I do, I think we might have got it. Ah! So we have to wait for the glue to settle or even set. Right. Get in there with the bone for now. How for a little bit of paper? Me. Should I fill my PPE up? I wasn't anticipating using it. Put the light down. Okay. I feel like that is going to work. But now I have this ugliness on the sides. And the word top there. Let's get rid of the word top. Good, have I used a pencil? Okay. We have the washi tea. No, we don't have the washi tea we use on the phone. That is how much is left of that washi tea. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm going to find a place to use that in this journal when we're done. I'll go see what other washi tapes I have. I think this is from the same set. It's rainbowish. Yeah. Let's use that. I had scissors, they're right in front of us. Now you know the drill. Print stick. I'm just going to fold that over. Boom, fold Boom, fold a bit down. I found that with washi on a bend. It wants to move. But we're not going to let it move. Another piece. I think I actually prefer this to the tape I used. Sounds about right. Not on the straightest, but not overly concerned. The concerns about this flower are coming true. to try and figure that out I could put what little there is of this down the center I'm just pulling it off the roll in the hope that I can stick it down because we're gonna be putting the pit stick on anyway
Thing. I think we should say actually. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice fit now. Okay, inside, look at that. I've never, it's the first time I've finished a washi tape. If I take that a little bit off, I can recycle the colour board and put a little bit in the bin. Here. I just want to put some of this washi down. I think I do. Ah. Always left in there. I'm just coming with some glue. Wee! See that travel? I think this put sticks nearly finished actually. Hey, is it just a day for finishing things? We'll finish this journal, we'll finish the washi tape. And now we've finished a bit stick. I think it was just the last video I was talking about how <coughs> I wasn't very quick at using that pit stick. I should have measured it off the other one really but now I am gonna bind this off camera and then I'll be back with a flick through because whenever I bind on camera it goes horrendously wrong. I was watching a video with Barbara from 49 Drunks <laughs> and she was having the same issue. Like if I wasn't filming this would be going great. Where that is still attached to a bit of cardboard, I'm gonna put a bit of PVA. Okay. Have we successfully? I think we have. We've extended a spine. Okay, let's put some lids on glues. Let's actually throw this put stick away. Yep, it's bent. Pin. Okay, I'm gonna go and bang this off camera and then I'll be back with a flip through. I might have to put some of that in the book somewhere. I don't know. Oh, look what I managed to achieve. Extended a spine. It's not the prettiest. But this journal was never about being pretty. It was about being fun. Okay, I'll do this and I'll be back. I found it. I think I probably could have gone a little bit wider on the spine actually now that I'm looking at it. But what's done is done. I'll have to stick that down that's the winners. Didn't get any any glue out. I didn't remedy that. I don't know what to do. The only thing I can think of is sticking something behind it, but what? It's not going to look ridiculous. Bit of a semicircle? I don't know. Anyway, here is the spine. I was well off with my sticky tape, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Expanded spine. Okay, so I finished decorating the little paper baggie. It's a top-loading pocket if you want to put something in it. 
I just put that on top to see if it would fit and I liked the way the design poked through and I've left the yours on the back. My little hello there. And then we have this pull out. Little journaling card. Flip it over and you've just got some journaling space and I did stick some more of that tape in just to bring it together. As we go through I might add some more. I've kept it out. I don't think there's much left on this one either actually. So we have our red. Just a simple little cluster on the bottom. You know, our little roller stamp pens. We have this, which is a pocket, which has our beautiful little gorgeous girl. And that was put onto um, a bit of packaging. And then this flips down. So we have all of this journaling space. Am I in frame? I'm going to go that way a bit, don't we? Yeah. Hmm. Then we have this, which was our envelope from the vets. You've got space here to tuck something in. Then we have this journaling card, which is again some packaging material. And that just flips up and tucks under that little star. We have our tuck spot here. I've just actually edited the video for this page. <laughs> That's how far behind I am on my editing. Um, our two little gift tags that had pin brooches on them and our little made from scraps tag. This plasticky tag that I decided to stitch on and then gave it a little pocket as well. Just put a little journal card in. Again, I honestly can't remember what we made that out of. It must have been a tag or something. And then a larger journal card made from that packaging. And this you could display either way and I think you could have writing on both sides as well. I love these cutouts here. Did I mention the other? The bow cutout. And then just this little cluster here where you could do some secret little journaling if there was if thou wished was what I was going to say there. Um, our food packaging belly band. And our, yeah, this was a piece of packaging. For our orange themed page. Just a little bit of lift there from my washi tape. I decided to make the orange at the centre of this signature. Um, <laughs> Those of you who are good at maths will realise there's going to be four pages in one and five in the other. I wasn't going to do another page. I'm literally running out of scraps. And um, I'm ready to move on to Christmas. <laughs> so this is the other side of the packaging that just flips out. And then we've got uh, a little circular tuck spot that I've just put three little pieces of paper in. For writing notes and then the negative from that circle it is a little tuck spot if you want to put something in there and then this flips up to be journaling and then the envelope of the actual packing material that we used for the cover became a little side top and there's just a bit of handmade paper folded in there I think I'm going to try making some handmade paper. I think that'll be fun. I remember doing it when we were little. And put glitter and all sorts in it. Little journaling spot here. You can write a teeny tiny secret message and put it in this envelope. I love that die. And then our uptuck, as I like to call them. With our little journal card in. That was just a cluster literally made from scrap. I've paper clipped a little scrappy notebook up here. And then our little love heart dog tag. And then we have our little pocket here with our tag. I love that you can still see that it's a tag through it. And then this flips out here. And then we have a flip, a flap, and a flap. <laughs> And just that little 
die cut. I think that was a negative from one of the um, film strips. We have another little flippy of your notebook here. I do love how subtle this embossing is. I do want to try more tone on tone embossing. And then we have just a little cluster there. This is one of my favourite pages. I just went to town. And we have a little notepad here. You can put something in there and you can put something in there. Carefully mind because even though it's cardstock, it's only ickle. I found that in my journal bases wallet and I thought well that's a scrap <laughs> um a business card from Kawhi Squirrel I mean love it I don't know if it's more green than blue I, was, <laughs> I don't know if I'm slightly colour but I was having bother differentiating <laughs> between green and blue but you know what it's gorgeous I love it it's gone there it has I would say the flowers are blue Oh, this page, I had to salvage. I didn't do this one on camera, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, um, I'd stuck that down in the wrong place. And when I picked it up, it, I'd used the PVA and it was just a mess. So, I glued on some paper for journaling on. And then this, this was still awful. <laughs> it had these beautiful butterflies all over it but I've just stuck that down on there it's a die cut negative I think it's from the other side of the page I used the hearts Um, these butterflies are stamped on cupcake liners and they go like tissue paper and they're really fun so I will definitely be doing more of that this is our hand decorated sticker love that and another flippy outy Oh yes, I was going to see I put washi there. That was because I messed up that little roll of it. And then we have our notebook. Little flippy yuppy waterfall notebook. And then I went double flip on this. I was very um, generous with my scraps. And then I started panicking because I still had no features to do. But gorgeous. And then we just have this belly band with this giant journal card in it. And just covered with white paper on the back. Oh no! I'm gonna have to stick that back down. See, I put things in when they're wet, and this is what happens. This is why we have a little flippy foo. Oh, yes, in my lots of love, La Mastiga. This is tissue paper backed on a printer paper, so we have a flippy up double journal spot. I love that. And this actually gives it the weight to keep it down. And we have our cute little pocket. We have our cluster, not cluster, collage tag. And the little Easter chick. Too cute. Um, I can't remember if I did this on camera or not. So the paper bag, and it was ripped, and it kept ripping the more I tried to deal with it. So I just had to admit defeat and cut it down. Um, cluster on the front with that gorgeous bunny rabbit. I found the stamp. It's all good. And then this came in a Kath Kidson package. I don't know. I, I don't know. All I can now smell is glue. I don't know if it was scented. Or if it was supposed to be like a coaster or something. But I just love the graphics on it. I did debate covering up the Kath Kids in London. But you know what? Homage to Kath Kids in. The shop's gone bust. <laughs> I know this because I bought my handbag in the sale. Closing down sale. So yeah. And I love that you can just say like that this is a tag. A tag. A Tag me from packaging. Okay, this is my favourite thing, I think. I did a little butterfly in the middle. And its wings are flippy fluffy. Ah, this with me nesting dies. It's so much fun. <laughs> simple things be simple minds, but bigger fools look on, so remember that one. Um, corner pockets, because I already had that one. 
I think. Um, I just went butterfly mad. So I made another sticker and what I like about this one is you could actually tuck something in it if you so wished. Um, this paper was already folded up in me scraps so I thought well let's just begin to go in there like that. Again there was two of them. I must have been making a little book or something. And then this is a bookmark from the Literary Emporium. And you can write your reading list on there and I just thought that was too cute and I had to leave it like that. I'm sorry, just one small with the pretty flappies. <laughs> um, we went double fold on this because I had some larger scraps in the pink. Again, just little doily dies to um, close them down. Oh yeah, and this is a waterfall. I was going to back that and I thought no. Because we've got all this space. And I like how the paints like come through the other side. And just a little framelit dye. My envelope. I can't remember if I put this in on camera or not. Um, it was from a banner, you know, when I've been cutting up those letters. And I've just... <laughs> it says tea time. <laughs> That's what he's telling us. I just backed it to make it a little journaling card and just tucked it in there. And then we have our Amazon gift card, which you can still, I don't know if I showed up on camera, but I can still see it. And again, you can journal on both sides on that. And just a little yellow butterfly. I just love using these dark look negatives. So here we have, this was the little Thank you, gift envelope. It's just so pretty. And I left the little thank you on there with the, the brad. And then in here, we'll have another piece of packaging. And that was from like an instruction manual bump thing. And I just, I love using this tissue paper. And then just on the back. And we can still see what it was intended for. A little flippy flappy that actually has a piece I cut out of it but I've just left that as a little feature and I stamped think happy on there I just felt like well, I hadn't used many stamps and that just seemed it fit it perfectly and then we have our other bag which I didn't really decorate up um, and some more packaging that was actually from the corner around there just did like a little cluster on there and then on the back that was one of those pens I actually really like that love this I'm going to do some more just random mark making with paint on book page I just think it's beautiful and then we have this another tiny little envelope that says love on it and again you can put another little no, I even a teeny tiny picture or something on there. And then we have our little lion. I don't think you can see him the best. But we know he's a lion. And this flips out. And again, you could name him. And then flips up. And then just some little hearts. And then... This, I just put a sheet of paper in and I made a tab pull with the butterfly dies. Ugh, again, glue everywhere. <laughs> Actually, no, I think that's tape from the tape one. I used double sided tape to stick this little envelope in. And that was again from Kawaii Squirrel. And that was where that negative came from. That I could put up the mess with on the other page. And then just two little notepads. And you can flip them up if you so wish. And I just like the heart because it mirrored these up here. And then on the back, this was some more of the cupcake doilies. I stuck two together. I probably need to stick a bit more. <laughs> just to give them a bit of strength. Because as I say, they're almost like tissue paper consistency. And 
and I just did a little cluster on the front and then the little gorgeous girls stamped on the two little cards I just found in my scraps and then after I bound it I put on my me, me craft wax seal and just two little scraps I pulled out of the pile so there we have it who would have thought all of the decoration in this is scraps oh, did I say that I'd used an elasticated thread there just because it was a fun and funky blue and there was a lot of it <laughs> all bunched up in my little wallet I have to say I think you flip with flappy butterflies are my favourite definitely going to do that in more journals I wonder what else I've got flowers as nest and dies and I obviously have the circles and gift tags as nest and dies so I wonder how they would work but I just think that's so much fun and that's another idea from um, Gina a perfectly imperfect she does like a spread across two pages I think that's just so cute. But then I also just love. Oh yeah, we need to stick that back in. I love the tissue paper. I love all the flippy flappies. I love the little butterflies. I just I love it all. I love it all. This has been. A bit of a labour of love. I do feel like it's gone on forever, but I did do two Halloween journals in between and I was ill. Um, but no. And I can't believe I managed to do the... Extend the spine. And I hope that really helps somebody. I may have made a faux pas. <laughs> like I did. But just goes to show. You know, somebody could have just... Ditch that whole cover and all you needed was a bit extra cardboard. So I think I'm gonna leave it all when I'm flippy flappy butterflies for the screenshot I think. <laughs> I um I'm gonna sort out I've got a, a huge does it say what size it is? A 64 litre capacity plastic tub under my desk. I rest my feet on it sometimes, <laughs> full of Christmas, but I do think I have a wallet stuffed full of like unfinished Christmassy stuff and then there's a wallet full of Christmas scraps. So do I just want to make another journal like this with the Christmas scraps because I think that'll be really fun. And you did sort of... I'm not going to say it was difficult. I'm going to say you had to carefully consider what you were using and how you were using it. Because an endless amount of scraps is sometimes not an infinite amount of possibilities. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Oh, but then I love this page with this stamping on it. Oh, and then I love that because it was just literally... Something I was going to throw away. Oh, I love that. I'm telling you. Pain on book page. Okay, I'm going to stop gushing over my own work now. It's just nice to have a sense of achievement. Okay, I said that for the thumbnail, didn't I? So, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I know this has been a very long series. <laughs> um... I think we are 10 plus videos now, 10 of 11, um, but it's done, it is done, and I love it, I'm so proud of it, so yeah, I'll see you next time.